Hey there, everybody. Tom Spool with Basecamp Trading. It is Wednesday, June 6th, and we're going to take a look here at the S&P and more specifically this breakout that took place uh, going into the afternoon and then has continued to climb throughout the afternoon. And that was a breakthrough, what we call a power line. Now, the MQ power lines indicator is what's drawing these support and resistance lines. And if you were in the webinar with us the other day, we talked about one of the ways to increase probabilities of success is make sure you're trading on the right side of the trend. So only taking bullish breakouts in an uptrend. Well, as you can tell, S&P has been in an uptrend and we have a bullish bias long term on the indices. So therefore, we're only looking at long entries. And right here, this green line shows up. That's the power line resistance level telling us, hey, if we break through that level, which is at uh, 27.58, look for it to accelerate higher. And this is this did what's called a last kiss where we break through the resistance, pull back and retest broken resistance, now a support, and then accelerate higher from there. So far it's working out really well. But this is just one way of trading with the power lines and this is just on a 30 minute price chart. This is why it's so important to make sure that when you're trading resistance breakouts and support breakouts that you make sure it's well defined. And that's exactly what the power lines are doing here. Is just making sure it's a well defined resistance level that has a higher probability of actually seeing follow through if and when it's broken. So if you're interested in learning about the power lines, you can send us an email at support at basecamptrading.com or you can just get it by going to bctnow.com forward slash power. But that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the trading room br bright and early tomorrow morning. And until next time, everybody, happy trading.